Hello and welcome. This is going to be part two because Radeon came out with a new update for 2020 with their software and I was hoping it was going to fix our issue with the uh, zero RPM thing, but it didn't. So I'm just going to show a really quick uh, thing how to get to it in this version now. So open up your Radeon Adrenaline software, go to performance, go to tuning, and here under tuning control set to manual. Here for zero RPM, you can uncheck that. Here you might have to uh, enable it and then go to this and disable it. And then you also have to enable advanced control. So after you do that, just set this up like you used to. It's really vague here. I don't understand why they made this powerful program, but they can't put simple things in when you hover your mouse over. It doesn't tell you, but whatever. So just set this guy here, up here. And this will set your fan for its maximum around 47, we'll say. And um, yeah, if you notice, it's all at zero RPM as well. And we can apply the changes. So that'll kick in. So now what you're going to have to do is save this. Save profile. And then just name it. Uh, I'm just naming mine uh, new 2020 test and save it all right so i'm just going to show you what happens after you reboot your computer because it doesn't save all right so i'm back from a reboot so now if you go back into the radeon settings and then most likely it wouldn't jump there, but it might anyways. And what I meant about restarting, it's actually, if you restart, it might actually hold, but if you uh, shut off your computer and turn it back on, this happens. So go back to performance. Every time you turn on your computer now, go to tuning. And then here you'll see right away, your fan speed's at zero, but you have this set up already. Unlike the other one, you might not have to push reset this time so you might be able just to load the settings you saved previously so just go to profile go to load profile and then open up the one we just saved and see if it changes so if it does it's good if it doesn't change you might have to reset it and then load your profile again so anyways if i don't actually do this just like my other video my um, gp will get really hot during games or whatever and it's the same uh, problem as last time. I really want to set a day aside to try figuring this out to see if there's a way we can uh, troubleshoot this and get it to load on its own. But if you're running into the same issue where your GPU is just getting extremely hot and it's just forcing the zero RPM thing, uh, just follow these steps for now. We're kind of we're kind of stuck with this. All right, just to touch on your fan settings just a little bit. I can't really suggest any because every uh, video card is going to be different. So it's going to be up to you guys to uh, fine tune it. So this is zero to 100% for your RPM for your fan, and this is zero to 85 for your temperature. So you're just gonna have to try to guess where about uh, 52 is and so on. So I usually set mine below 50 here. And what you can do here is just like closely tune it until you find a good uh, resting or um, an idle. So right here I'm at 39 at a fan speed of 1532. So if I were to drop this down here and like this here, just for testing, then push apply. You'll see my RPM drop. And what you're gonna wanna do is try bringing it down and watch your temperature. So if your temperature stays at 39 and doesn't go up, that means you can keep bringing it down. You can also play a YouTube video in the background because that's what most people usually do or whatever you usually use in the background. You might wanna just have that. And then you can find a nice comfortable uh, fan speed. So if you notice that 1206 RPM, the temperature is still not raising. So we might be able to bring it down just a little bit more. This guy over here. Could be here too because of that. So we might want to shove this guy right over here a little bit. Again, it's kind of hard to guess where the 39 actually was. So now it should start shooting up. All right, guys, so that's it for the video. Again, I apologize. I couldn't find a permanent fix for this. It's sad that we have to do this every time we boot up our computer. Otherwise, we run into uh, throttling. 
But anyways, um, yeah, like and subscribe, please, and that's it.